Hello, welcome back again to my channel and uh, thank you so much for um, supporting me in my videos and for today we're going to continue our uh, finding the derivatives using the increment method uh, and the definition of the derivative part 2. So in the previous video we have four examples but for today's video we also have four examples okay? and we say that this would be a little more complicated than the examples that I've given on the previous videos. So let's try. Again, the definition of the derivative again is f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0. So again, the very first step is to replace all of the x's present in the f of x as x plus h, and then uh, subtract it from the original f of x, then evaluate the limit as h approaches 0 using this formula. Okay, so for this given problem, f of x is equals to f uh, 4x squared minus 9x. So we have the f prime of x as the limit okay, of 4x plus h squared. We replace x by x plus h minus 9 times x plus h minus the original function f of x that is 4x squared minus 9x. Divided by uh, divided by h as h approaches 0. So again, we can uh, evaluate this first. So we have 4 multiplied by the expansion of this x squared plus 2hx plus h squared minus 9x. I distributed negative and uh, the 9 here. So negative 9x minus 9h and I can also distribute the minus sign here minus 4x squared plus 9x over h as h again approaches 0. So what will happen here? So we are going to distribute the 4 here. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of the 4x squared plus 8hx plus 4h squared minus 9x minus 9h minus 4x squared plus 9x over h. So as you can see, sum of the uh, numerators, uh, uh, terms in the numerators would cancel. So we have 9x, we have minus 9x. Are there any others? None. Okay. So we have now simplified the numerator as a limit as h approaches 0 of 8hx plus 4h squared minus 9h over h. We can factor out h in the numerator. So we have uh, h is equal to uh, multiplied by 8x okay, plus 4h minus 9 over h. And we can see this two would cancel so now we can evaluate now the limit of uh, 8x plus 4h minus 9 as h approaches 0 because we won't have be having any problem so if we evaluate that that would be 8x right, plus 4 times 0 since uh, why 8x? Because since it has no any h, it's considered as a constant. Uh, so we have 8x okay, minus 9. So this would be 0. So our answer would be 8x minus 9. And that is our f prime of x using the derivative by increment. All right, next problem. So how about for number 6? For number 6, let's find the... Uh, Derivative of 2x cubed minus 1. So again, we're going to replace all the x's with x plus h and evaluate the limit as uh, of the function as h approaches 0. So we have 2 times x plus h cubed minus 1 minus the original function, which is 2x cubed minus 1 over the h as h approaches 0. So what will happen here is that if we are going to expand x plus h cubed, it would be x cubed plus, we know that we have four terms here, plus 3, that is the exponent, 
times x squared. x is in the second power while h is having one power, a uh, degree of one, of course. And plus 3 again because of this, okay? Since uh, this x squared has a power of 2, this term, h, has a power of 2, okay? So, and then last term would be the cube of h, which is h cubed. Okay, minus 1. Oh, sorry, it's not, uh, we, have, we don't have enough space. I will just rewrite that. Okay, I will just rewrite that. 2 times x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed. That is minus 1. This is not minus 1. Minus, I'm going to distribute this minus sign. 2x cubed plus 1 over h. Okay, so if I'm going to distribute 2 inside the expanded x plus h cubed, so we have 2x cubed plus 6x squared h plus 6x h squared plus 2h cubed minus 1 minus 2x cubed plus 1 over, okay, over h. As you can see in the numerator, there are terms that would cancel, so we have 2x cubed. Minus 2x cubed, we have negative 1 and plus 1. Uh, is there any, anything else? None. So, we are left with, okay, with 6x squared h plus 6xh squared plus 2h cubed, okay, over h. So, our goal is to eliminate the h on the denominator so that if we evaluate the limit, it would not be undefined. So, we have h we can factor out h so we have 6x squared plus a 6x h okay plus a 2h squared over h as we can see the h would cancel so we now have we can now therefore get the limit of this so we are left with the limit of d 6x squared plus 6xh plus 2h squared as h approaches 0. And by substituting the value of h, so there would be a problem. So we have 6x squared plus 2 plus 6x times 0 plus 2 times 0 squared. We know that both of these two terms multiplied by 0 would be actually 0. So our answer for our f prime of x for this example would be 6x squared. And that is our answer for this problem. So let's try again another example. So for number 7, find the derivative using the increment method of 5 over x. Okay, so again, same rule apply. We're going to replace all the x's with x plus h and evaluate its limit as h approaches 0. So we have 5 over, this is 5, okay, this is 5, 5 over x plus h minus the original function which is 5 over x over h as h approaches 0. So uh, we can uh, uh, subtract this by simply having a cross product or the uh, what I mean cross product is multiplication okay so we will be having 5x this would x would be multiplied to this minus 5 that is this 5 and this x plus h will be multiplied with this x plus h and that is over the the the, uh, the product of x plus h and x so we have x times x plus h over h okay and by the way it has a limit as h approaches zero i forgot to write here so again the limit as h approaches to zero of this function would be 5x minus 5x okay i distributed neg uh, negative sign along with the fast positive 5 or negative 5x my minus 5h so over x over x plus h over h so as you can see here Okay, these two would cancel. So we have a limit of, as h approaches 0, a limit of negative 5h over 
x over x plus h over h. Okay? And we know that this h would cancel. Okay? They, they would cancel because technically what if we are going to do that, okay, uh, get the reciprocal of the over h, the denominator, this is the whole term, this is the whole term, this is the numerator, and this is the denominator h. So if I'm going to get the reciprocal of the denominator h, it would become 1 over h and proceed to multiplication. As you can see, that h would cancel. So now we are left with this one. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 5 over, we have distribute the x squared and the the x here, the x here. So we have x squared plus hx. I have distributed the x, so it becomes x squared and plus hx. So there would be a problem since if we are going to evaluate as h approaches 0, the denominator would not be 0. Negative 5 over x squared, that's a constant, plus uh, h is 0 times x. So this term definitely would become 0. So our answer would be Okay, f prime of x is equal to negative 5 over x squared okay, plus 0 or in other words, uh, x squared only. So we have negative 5 over x squared. So that is our answer for this problem. So for the last problem for today's video, so we have find the derivative of f of x equals to x plus 1 over x plus 4. Again, what are we going to do? Is to simply, uh, f prime of x would be replacing all of the x's with x plus h and finding its limit as h approaches 0. So we have x plus h plus 1, okay? Uh, we, we have replaced x with x plus h. This would become x plus h plus 1 over x plus h plus 4 minus the original f of x x plus 1 over x plus 4 over h as h approaches 0. So if we are going to subtract that 2, again, we will be able to perform, we will get, uh, we will uh, bring this up to this, okay, and multiply this 2, and multiply this 2, and uh, we have to multiply as the denominator x plus h plus 4 multiplied by x plus 4. So we have x plus h plus 4, okay, multiplied by x plus 4 minus x plus 1 multiplied by this, x plus h plus 4, okay, over, okay, the multiplication of this, the product of this, two denominators, so we have x plus 4 multiplied by x plus h plus 4 over h, over h as h approaches 0. So in this, we're, we're going to have to perform uh, uh, multiplication with a trinomial and a binomial. So we can, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, distribute them, okay, one by one. So x times x, with, which be x squared, x times 4 is plus 4x. Then we have h times x, that's hx. Okay, in h times 4, that would be plus 4h. That uh, 4 times x, that would be... Oh, I am so sorry. This should be x plus 1. Okay. I forgot. It's x plus h plus 1. Okay. So, we have x squared. That's correct. Then x times 4 is 4x. Then h times x is hx. Then h times 4 is 4h. And then 1 times x would be plus x. 1 times 4 would be plus 4. Okay. Minus, of course, the, we, we, did, uh, we are doing the same here. The same thing here. So x times x would be x squared. x times h is plus hx. x times 4 is plus 4x. Then we have 1 times x is x. 1 times h is h. 1 times 4 is plus 4 over, okay, over, we do the same thing, actually, 
here or we can um, we can actually uh, leave this as it is so we have x plus 4 then we have x plus h plus 4 x plus h plus 4 over h so again if we evaluate this the limit as h approaches 0 we have x squared plus 4x plus hx plus 4h plus x plus 4 distributing the negative sign negative x squared minus hx minus 4x minus x minus h minus 4 over the product we have x plus 4 we have x plus h plus 4 over h so simplifying the numerator we have x squared minus x squared we have hx minus hx we have plus plus 4x minus 4x cancel so we have 4 minus 4 i think okay and then we can rewrite it as the limit of 4h plus x okay 4h plus x okay minus uh, we have x and minus x here we have x minus x okay so we have x minus x there i forgot i'm uh, say we have x minus x and then we have 4h we have a 4h here minus h that becomes 3h okay over x plus 4 multiplied by x plus h plus 4 okay divided by h I'm sorry i don't have space as h approaches zero so let me just rewrite that so we have the limit okay of 3h over x plus 4 x plus h plus 4 okay over h as you can see h here would cancel okay if we that's what we did a while ago okay if we get the reciprocal of h that would be 1 over h and proceed to product so h would cancel so we have the limit as h approaches 0 of 3 over x plus 4 multiplied by x plus h plus 4 so there won't be a problem okay since even if we substitute h is equal to zero in this limit okay what would happen is that the denominator would not be equal to zero so in other words we have three over x plus four multiplied by x plus zero plus four is still x plus four or in other words we have three over x plus four squared and this is our answer for this last problem and i hope you guys understood what i'm trying to explain here so thank you so much for listening and uh viewing my channel viewing my video i hope i help you with this uh video lecture so thank you so much and this is again the part two of finding the derivative by increment method or by the definition of the derivative. So thank you so much for listening and God bless.